Welcome to Rumble Golf Tuition. Today we're going to go through the basic stance and we're going to cover the main points of that in detail. So we're starting up here with the stance. What you want to try and do is get your feet together and we're looking at a stance width for a 7 iron being shoulder width apart. So we're looking to create a ball position for an iron shot where the ball is just forward of centre. Okay. So we're looking at a ratio of say 4 inches to the left six inches to the right and that should put the ball nicely in the center from there we're looking to flex the knees push the bum backwards so we're creating a posture whereby we have this angle to hit the shot and we're trying to avoid leaning back stooping over or hunching from the upper shoulders okay now the grip if you come in closer the grip is the most important thing you'll do in the stance. This controls what direction the ball travels in, okay? Then as good as the swing is, if the grip isn't right, then you'll get curvature on the ball. So the left hand is the first one. That should be placed on the grip, exactly the same as your left arm hangs by your side. That is the natural rotation in your arm. So you must focus on getting the same position as when your arms are hanging down by your trouser pockets. We take the grip in the finger ends, and we close the thumb onto the top. We should clearly see between two and three knuckles as we look down and the grip is actually in the fingers as opposed to across the palm. And this is needed to give you the correct leverage and the correct wrist rotation during the shot. Now we place the right hand beneath the left in a manner like that. So we're going on to the thumb down the top and for ladies juniors we look at the baseball grip so there's just a connection between the two outer fingers. We can then go for gents, the overlapping grip, and for people with big hands or people on a really sturdy jointed grip, then we have the interlocking, okay? So that looks like that as we put it back down. Thumbs on the top is the basic description I would use. Um, we're not looking to see the hand right on the top. We're not looking to see the hand on the side. We're looking to see two to three knuckles on the left hand, and we're looking to cover up this thumb here with the right hand we don't want to be seeing that thumb we don't want the hand wrapped right over to the top and we certainly don't want to have a gap between the two hands or else this will provide lots of inaccuracy uh, and lots of problems with striking the ball and that's that part of the setup over 